Hi, this is Rob from YourStreamingTV.org. Before we start the video, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd also like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share, and click on the link in the description to visit us at YourStreamingTV.org, where you can learn more about streaming or address any concerns or issues you have on streaming. Today we're going to show you how to assemble and we're going to do a review and setup on the A-Box Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. It has been provided to us for review purposes. We're going to start off first off by unboxing it, which right from the get-go, it's very well packed. And here's pretty much the contents of the box. You have the case, you have the processor, and also right over here, the power supply. Okay, right now we're ready to assemble our Raspberry Pi, which is pretty much straightforward. We have a couple heat sinks that need to be installed, which one is gonna go right over here, one here, and one on the bottom here, which they're pretty much straightforward. Like the one on the bottom here will be this one right here. You just take off the sticky material and just stick it right on. And the one on the top, this one will go over here. So we're gonna go ahead and stick them on. And also there is an SD card, which is pretty much straightforward too. You'll flip it over here, and you'll go ahead and slide in the SD card just like this. Slides right in. Now we'll go ahead and do the heat sinks. All right, now we've went ahead and installed our heat sinks, as you can see right over here. They're all installed. Our SD card is installed. Now we're ready to install it into the case. This is the top and this is the bottom over here. Be very careful removing it so you don't break it. As you can see over here, there are a slot right here and right here which will slide the circuit board into, so it sits in there right there. As you can see, it sits in flush. And now we can go ahead and slip it back into the box. And there we go there. Okay, now that we have it assembled, one of the good things about this is you have four USB ports, which is excellent for future storage, for flash storage. You could connect your wireless keyboard, wireless mouse. You could also connect a wired mouse, wired keyboard, and your Ethernet right over here. And we'll flip it over over here. Here's your HDMI, and here's your power right over here. And this is where you slide your SD card in and out of. And this is a real good design. It's nice and small, so you can fit this behind a TV and have it hidden so no wires are showing to make a real nice, clean install. So now we're going to go ahead and get it all connected. We'll go ahead and connect our wires here, our mouse, and our keyboard. And here's our HDMI and our power. All right, now there's also an on and off switch. We're going to go ahead and turn it on and get started. Right now it's going to start to load. One of the really nice things about this, it comes pre-installed with Noobs, which is quite a few operating systems already pre-installed on the SD card, which is nice because right out of the box, you won't have to go find any operating systems. You can use it right away. So right now the list is populated. We're going to show you how to install Kodi. If the box was not already checked, you'd put a check in the box. Then click on install. You'll click on yes. And right now it's going to start to install. This might take a little bit, so we're going to pause the video and come back to it. Okay, right now it's just ran the setup. We're going to go ahead and click on OK, and it's going to reboot. And then it will load up Kodi. And from there, if you want to install any add-ons, you can visit us at yourstreamingtv.org where you'll find a complete list of sports and movie and show programs that you can add on Kodi. All right, right now it is installed. So if you want to install a diff different operating system, we'll go ahead and reboot it. And then as it's loading up, you'll see it pop up in the screen. You'll want to hold down the shift button. Which right over here for recovery, you'll hold down the shift and it's going to populate all the operating systems that are installed on the SD card. And from there, once the list populates, you can go ahead and install any of the operating systems by putting a check in the box and clicking on install. If you have any questions, please visit us at yourstreamingtv.org where you can learn more about streaming or address any concerns or issues you have or ask any questions on Raspberry Pi. Once again, 
Please like, subscribe, and share, and click on the link in the description to visit us at yourstreamingtv.org. Thank you.